So I wanted to make this video to talk a little bit about the Houdini crashing and how can we try to fix that and maybe how can we help to improve Houdini with support with sending a crash report so the things are inevitable it's it's gonna crash like any other program actually Houdini has been a program that kind of been pretty stable for the most part but there is some bugs no perf no program is perfect so when you come across the bug first thing you want to do is try out to eliminate all your all the possibilities from your end so what I recommend to do first step before submitting a crash report go to your start and put down a MS config and here you will be able to go to the services and then hide all Microsoft services click on it you can see these are all the services that are starting when you launch Windows so what you want to do is just disable all and maybe enable Houdini license server and Houdini server and also NVIDIA or AMD whatever you have they display the display driver something like that so but all of this which is kind of like virtual box steam and all the unnecessary stuff for the Houdini to work properly you just disable them on the startup then you just press ok and after you have changed it it's gonna ask you to restart it so and one another thing before restarting it go to the task manager and go to the startup and there's going to be also program that start from at the beginning of the windows when you launch it so just disable all of them except for something like that's needed for Houdini for this I think it's all unnecessary so just disable all of them and then just restart it then go back in Houdini and try to crash it again sometimes it just crashes again if you have tried everything there's a big possibility that maybe it's actually a Houdini bug so what I would suggest is actually submit a crash report so if you have a side effect class installed you can actually once you have restarted Houdini on top there's actually open crash file so it's going to load up this crash file that's saved in a Houdini temp so for us to submit this this crash what we have to do is couple of things so first of all let's go back to the Houdini and actually let's press on about Houdini show details and what you want to do is actually export this file about Houdini so they might gonna your system details so just take this and save it that's gonna be attached to the email that we're gonna send so so this file then save also this file uh, the actual crash file that got saved you want to send this one too to support and also this crash report it's also this you can copy this as an email or just as a file so if you go to the Houdini license administrator there's actually option for email crash report technical support when you press it it's actually going to go to the Houdini temp and ask you to select the crash report file so these are the files that we looked at previously so once you press on it it's actually going to just launch here yeah. for windows it's just a email app so you can see what it's generates it basically generates automatically the crash report it's copies it into, into the email and sends it to support that side effects but this is not enough for us to so remember to add the actual crashed Houdini file so they can open it up and take a look at it and also the uh, Houdini information system information that we saved up so those two files and then you just kind of want to give the explanation what happened and how did it crash or even better if you have a video you have recorded how it crashed just put some I know like a 10 second YouTube video that you have recorded on how it crashed. Once you have sent your bug report, they're gonna email you back with support. It will email you back with status of your bug report, whether they were able to replicate their bug on their end. So, if did, if they did, so 
they gonna email you back when they gonna when the status of your bug report is gonna change so when did they fix it sooner or later but there is there are daily builds for Houdini so there's a good chance they're actually going to fix it in a reasonable time so you don't have to wait for the next big update on Houdini so I just hoped you found this video useful 